Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's day lucky number 13. That's right, December 13th, the 13th day of this advent calendar. My wife has lovingly poured this blind, or not so lovingly, because it's a little late at night and she's a little P.O. that she had to do this. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I forgot my... So if you're just joining us for day 13, you must have been in a coma the previous 12 days. But we're doing category, finished, yes or no, proof price, bottle, and distillery. We're off a, you know, an average or so advent calendar so far. Not too bad, but not too great. As far as the guessing, the pours, phenomenal. So thank you so far to everyone who sent them in. All right, the one today a little light looking all right you know we're not going to give up on it just yet until we uh give it a quick swirl and a smell let's give it a nosing here what in tarnation is this this is uh i get like uh, some artificial red candy like pink bubble gum very fruity does not smell too high proof but it's just got some like caramels vanillas nothing too heavy nothing too dark and then just BAM just like pink bubble gum and like artificial Jolly Rancher cherry that's what we're getting here like a light bright cherry too let's take a sip I never tasted something that just felt so watery thin. And like light on flavor too. I huh, this is not high proof, we're gonna say that. Is this like Basil Hayden's like red wine cast finish? Alright, let's take a, another sip here. The majority of the flavor is like a light pink bubblegum flavor. With some fruit, but it literally, when it hits your tongue, it like jumps off your tongue and becomes lighter somehow. It's like, it's like eating a, it's like drinking a marshmallow if that was possible. Um, you know, it's not bad, but I can't say that's been my favorite of this advent calendar so far. So much so that I'm not even sure that it's bourbon. This could be some sort of American whiskey, which that category is open. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's finished with those notes. So, um, uh, proof, I'm going to go like 90. I think it's 90 or could be even less. I'm going to say 90 for proof. Price? I don't know. I, oh, price? I'm going to, you know, it's probably too highly priced for what it is. So I'm going to guess, we're going to guess $65. Bottle and distillery, I have no clue. So let me go back to this one more time. It's getting worse the more I drink it. Um, all right, we're going to say category bourbon. Finished, yes. Proof, 90. Price, 65. Distillery, I'm going to go with like... Uh, this. I think this is a craft of some sort. I, I'm just thinking it's like starlight of some sort. Like a low proof finished starlight. All right, those are my answers. Rita, who sent this in? The person with the photo. The with the photo. Now, how the hell do I know? What, where, where'd you get it from? What box? Well, the name's on the box. Ah, uh, William Kennedy. Thank you, sir, for sending it in, but uh, we don't know if that was our favorite of the calendar. What was it? Yeah, but that's mm -hmm. Jefferson's Resort, and it's got to be finished, though. Pritchard. All right, William Kennedy, thank you, sir. There it is. He's almost finished this. I don't know if this is a struggle for him or not, but it might have been to get down that, that far in that bottle. <laughs> this is the Jefferson's Reserve Pritchard Hill Cabernet Cask Finish.
coming in at 90.2 proof, 45.1% alcohol by volume. So, did not get the bottle or distillery, but we probably got just about everything else. It is bourbon. It is finished. I guess 90, nearly nailed the proof head on. It was only 0.2 off. Uh, price, I don't know. These actually might be more than 65. Uh, I'll look it up when I put it on here. These might be like 70 or even 80, which is crazy to me. Uh, obviously, distillery is uh, Jefferson's and bottle was a Pritchard Hill. So I did not get that. You know, I do not think I would buy a bottle of this. Uh, but thank you for sending in because I've always been curious about this. I've seen these uh, sometimes in PA. They hit the shelf. And I've always been like, eh, eh, I don't know. So now I know. So thank you, William, for sending that in. Really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening, everybody.